Hello everybody, welcome back and hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. Uh, I just said goodbye to Sotoshi. You're probably guessing, where are you? Are you not at home? Actually, I'm not. I'm in Asakusa. Yeah. Um, I decided that I'm gonna have a workation, a solo workation. Is that what you call it these days? Workation at this hotel called the Henna Hotel, which translates to strange hotel. The reason why, there are two reasons why I wanted to stay here. Number one is the price. It was about 3,000... 3,500 yen per night, 3,500 yen, and that's for two people. Uh, but Satoshi uh, realized that uh, he had a dentist appointment in the morning tomorrow, so he's not staying over tonight, but I did book this room for two nights, so he is going to be staying over with me tomorrow night. But um, yeah, so the low price, uh, 3,500 yen, that's included, including all taxes and service charge and everything. I also wanted to see how strange the hotel actually was. It's actually not that strange. Uh, the only, hmm, I guess um, the most unique thing about this hotel is that it's self-check-in and a hologram. Actually, it's a pretty cool hologram. Uh, you can choose between uh, a person, well, not a real person, an anime character, a dinosaur. The anime character was actually out of order. <laughs> so it's between the, the dinosaur or a ninja. And so uh, I decided to check in with the ninja. And it was pretty cool. I gotta say, the hologram looked 3D. In, you could actually see the shadows as well. And... Um, it was kind of cool. If you arrive early, you can leave your bags uh, on the lobby floor. Uh, you can lock it. Uh, it's all self self service. You do it all by yourself. It's free. It's completely free of charge, and it was pretty easy to do. And uh, this hotel is located uh, two minutes walking walking distance from a station called Tawaramachi, which is uh, right next to Asakusa. So you're kind of like in between Asakusa and Ueno, I guess. But it's a really nice neighborhood. It's quiet and it's only about a 10 minute walk to Sensoji Temple. So it's really not that bad. And, it, and it's about a 10 minute walk to Ueno. So really, uh, the location could not be better. The room that I got is a double room standard. And um, I gotta say, it's actually a lot more spacious than I thought it was gonna be. It's 16 square meters, so it's not that big. But there's a double bed in the room. Uh, there are two chairs and there's a table. Uh, uh, you know, big enough table for two people to have like uh, bento lunches. And I don't know, I, I really like it. Um, I find this room more comfortable than this other room I stayed in Ginza, which was like three times the price and that place felt smaller and I don't know it wasn't as comfortable as here uh, this room for some reason feels a lot more spacious maybe it's the furniture I I, I don't know even the unit bathroom which is typical of uh, these uh, smaller hotel rooms is quite spacious for a um, unit bathroom yeah I mean uh, usually if I stay at a pretty cheap business hotel the unit bathroom is a lot smaller than this one so i'm very satisfied with this uh, particular hotel i really am and for the price oh my goodness so so since i'm going to be alone tonight here in asakusa and nothing really is open after 8 p.m here um, most places start closing down at 7 because of the state of emergency um, I'm gonna check out Asakusa at night. I'll take you guys along for the walk. Alright guys, we are outside. We are walking on the streets of Asakusa. It's a little past 8 p.m. and as you can see, most of the shops are already closed. Yeah, the government recommended or asked all the shops to close by 8 p.m. during the state of emergency and so as you can see they've been listening as you can see it's uh streets are empty so it's kind of nice and definitely safe <laughs> definitely social distancing from everyone this street here is called Tanuki Dori and we, we made a video 
uh, here before on the Tabi's channel. Oh my god, this badger or tanuki has a mask on. Look at that. In the street, you can find these sculptures of uh, badgers all on this street here. Anyway, I want to I go to Sensoji Temple and hoping, hoping that uh, it's illuminated. So we're approaching the uh, the, the Shotengai, the shopping streets. Like this shop here is still open, but this is just takeout. So takeout is allowed after 8 p.m. So this is totally fine. Just restaurants. Anyway, let's walk towards the temple. And hopefully, it's all lighted up. Remember when um, I used to collect all those uh, fancy masks? I realized that these uh, masks right here are the most effective and they are a lot more comfortable. So for the time being, I think I'm just going to stick to these masks right here. It's actually kind of nice walking around Asakusa. It's only a little past 8 p.m., you know. And look how quiet it is. It's kind of nice though. We're approaching uh, the Nakamise Dori. I mean, that street that leads to the temple with all the shops. Well, good to know that it's illuminated. Ah, this is so nice. I really like uh, the, how they uh, painted the shutters. Covered the shutters with all this artwork. Because that makes it nice to just walk along the street, even with all the shops closed. So we're approaching the temple. Look how beautiful the gate is. Isn't this a spectacular looking building? And that's the pagoda on the side. Just as beautiful. Yeah, this was a great idea, guys. It was a great idea for me to stay over in Asakusa for a couple of nights. I don't have to worry about taking the train back home. So this is one of the guardians that's uh, guarding the gates. Let's go inside. Let's go check out the temple. The temple is closed, but we can at least look at the, uh, the building. By the way, you know, we just walked underneath the gate, but I do want to point out this, uh, these uh, slippers, like sandals behind me. These are made in Yamagata, uh, Satoshi hometown. See, that's the gate. We're at the other side of the gate. Make sure you turn around and don't forget to uh, check out these uh, sandals. They're called Owaraji. And uh, there's some information about the sandals here. Uh, this, uh, this is made of straw and 2,500 kilograms. That's how much it weighs. And this is a charm against evil. Let's get closer to the temple and let me show you. By the way, Sensoji is the oldest temple in the Tokyo area. So here we are guys. This is the main building of Sensoji Temple. And this is where uh, you would go in and pray. However, the doors are closed as you can see. But it's okay, you can, you can see people walking up those stairs. You can pray there, just like those people are doing right now. One thing that's different uh, since the pandemic started is that there is no water here. This is where you would normally uh, uh, cleanse your hands. Uh, to purify yourself before you go pray. But because of uh, Corona, yeah, they took out the water. They don't want people congregating around one area like this. We've walked over to the riverside and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. So that's the train. You guys see the train going across that bridge? And that's a uh, Tokyo sky tree lighted up in a beautiful blue. Did you know that the sky tree 
changes color all the time. Today it's blue, sometimes it's purple, sometimes it's gold. That's the train coming back to Asakusa, probably from Nikko. I want to walk across that bridge. I know we've done that before, but uh, let's do it again. So here we are. By the way, if you didn't know, the name of this river is Suminagawa, Sumida River. Ah, it's pretty, isn't it? I love city lights. I love buildings that are illuminated at night. I think they are so beautiful to look at. I'm just so happy it's not like super cold tonight. I thought it was going to be freezing, but fortunately, it's perfect temperature. Here we are, Sumida River Walk. Here we are guys, we're on the bridge now. I'm going to walk to the other side. I'm just going to relax today, but here. Here's a look at the view from this bridge. Isn't it magical? I mean, it's so simple, but I don't know, I just find this so beautiful. Actually, instead of going to the other side, I think I'm just gonna go down there. Whenever I see superstructures like the sky tree, I just marvel at uh, how amazing human beings are. They actually built this thing. Look at the reflection. The reflection of the bridge on the water is just so beautiful. You know, it's uh, you know, I realized something. Staying at a hotel in my own city, you know, some people might think that's a waste, but I've come to realize that uh, it actually feels different when you're staying at a hotel in your own city, like. I come here all the time, not all the time, but I come here often to film. But it doesn't feel the same because I'm not going home after this. I'm actually going to go back to the hotel, which is within walking distance from here. So I feel a lot more relaxed than I usually do. And I sort of appreciate uh, everything I'm looking at much more than when I'm here for work, you know? We've kind of walked away from the train tracks, which is down there. And I decided to come all the way down there. I actually, I'm actually gonna walk to the other side of this bridge here. And you know what? I've never walked under this bridge before. I've never had a reason to. Ooh, look at that. This is a funky tunnel. It's kind of like Space Mountain. Okay, here we are on the other side of the bridge. That's the bridge there. Okay, and let's look for a place to sit, shall we? Here's another bridge I want to show you. It's a lot simpler than, say, the Rainbow Bridge, but I find it quite romantic, kind of retro, romantic. So I took my mask off, guys. Uh, no one around me, and um, I'm sitting down, so no worries. But uh, I, I did want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your comments, your nice messages. Um, uh, when I uh, mentioned on my video that I was going through a little bit of depression, I really was... I'm doing a lot better. I am. Uh, I love reading through your messages. There were a lot of them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. They, they always do make me feel better and they help put things into perspective for me. Um, I think um, me deciding to uh, do these uh, short stays inside Tokyo is um, is gonna be helping me out a lot yeah I think a change of scenery does wonders for the mental state especially for a traveler like myself 
and although my hotel is you know it, it's not particularly luxurious or anything I mean it was a bargain um, it's still kind of relaxing and it's, it's nice you know a different environment you know Tokyo is a big city and there are places like this where there aren't that many people you know where if, if, if I go walking around after 8 p.m. all the shops are closed so there are less people walking on the streets like today so I feel safe um, I do want to continue to be responsible um, if I get sick I know it's going to worry my family to death and I don't want to do that especially to my mother she worries about me all the time just like mothers usually do anyway it's time for me to walk back to my hotel I'm gonna drop by the convenience store buy myself some what would I want? Mm, I don't want any caffeine at this time of the night. What do I want? Anyway, something to drink. Something to drink in my hotel room. And I already bought some decaf coffee, but I don't really feel like decaf coffee at this time of the night. Maybe non-alcoholic beer. Non-alcoholic, no-calorie beer. Yes, that's what I'm gonna get. <laughs> Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. And here's the last shot. You guys know I always like to end my videos with a shot of whatever I'm looking at. If you haven't seen the videos that you see on the right, check them out.